Hello everyone. Our today's topic of discussion is assignment problem maximization case. So five jobs are to be processed and five machines are available. We are five jobs one two three four and five and we are having five machines. The name of machines are A B C D and E. So these are the machines and these are the jobs. Any machine can process any job with the resulting profit shown in the table. So the profit will be 32, 38, 40, 28 and 40. Okay. For job one, if job one is machined or uh, if job one is machined on machine A, profit will be 32. If it is machined on machine B, profit will be 38. If it is machined on machine C, 40. Similarly, 28 and 40 on machine number D and machine number E. Similarly, the remaining profits are also shown in the table. Find assign uh, find assignment pattern that maximize the sale. So here we have to maximize the profit. So this is our maximization case. Assignment problem maximization case. So first of all, we have to convert our maximization problem to minimization case. First of all, we will find the maximum value from all the elements. Okay. The maximum value from all the elements is 41. The maximum value is 41. So we will subtract 40. Uh, we, we will subtract 41 from all these elements. So 41 minus 32, 9. 41 minus 38, 3. 41 minus 40, the value will be 1. 41 minus 28, 13. 41 minus 40, 1. Similarly, 1. 41 minus 24, 17. 41 minus 20, 21. The value will be 20. 41 minus 36, 5. 41 minus 41, 0. 14. 8. 11. 4. 19. 3. 0. 5. And 5. 12. 8, 1, 6, and 2. The next step will be row reduction. First of all, we will find the smallest value from each row and then we will subtract that value from the entire row. The smallest value in first row is 1. Similarly, the smallest value in row number 2 is again 1. The smallest value in row 3 is 0. The smallest value in row number 4 is again 0. The smallest value in row number 5 is 1. So, this step is known as row reduction. In this step, we have to find the smallest value from each row and then we have to subtract that smallest value from the entire row. So, the smallest value in row number 1 is 1. So, we will subtract 1 from the entire row. 9 minus 1 will be 8. 3 minus 1 will be 2. 1 minus 1, 0. 13 minus 1, 12. And 1 minus 1 will be 0. Similarly, from the second row, 1 minus 1 is 0. 16. Then we have 12. Then we have 19. 5 minus 1 is 4. In the third column, the minimum element is 0. So, this will remain unchanged. 0, 14, 8, 11, and 4. Row number 4, 19, the minimum element is 0. So, it will, it will be 19, 3, 0, 5, and 5. And the last row will be The minimum element is 1. 12 minus 1 will be 11. 8 minus 1, 7. 1 minus 1, 0. 6 minus 1, 5. 2 minus 1 will be 1. So these are the elements after row reduction. So the next step will be column reduction. During column reduction, we have to find the minimum best we have to find the 
minimum value from each column and then we will subtract the minimum value from the entire column so in the first column the minimum value is 0 in the first column the minimum value is 0 in the second column the minimum value is 2 16 14 3 and 7 the minimum value is 2 minimum value is 0 minimum value is 5 and in the last column the minimum value is 0 so the next step is column reduction we have to find the minimum element from the from each column and then subtract that value from the entire column so minimum value is 0 8 minus 0 it will be 8 the values will remain unchanged because we have to subtract 0 from each value so 8 0 0 19 and 11 In the second column, the minimum value is two. So two minus two will be zero. Sixteen minus two will be fourteen. Fourteen minus two will be twelve. Three minus two will be one. And seven minus two will be five. So in third column, the minimum value is zero. So the values will remain unchanged in the third column. Zero, twelve, eight, zero, and zero. In the fourth column, the minimum value is five. Twelve minus five, seven. Nineteen minus five, fourteen. Eleven minus five, six. Five minus five, zero. And the last element is again zero. The minimum value in last column is zero. So the values are zero, four, four, five, and one. So these are the values after column reduction. so this is our table number 1 this is our table number 2 table number 3 and this is our table number 4 the next step is we have to make assignments there are three zeros there are three zeros in row number 1 the total number of zeros in row number 1 is 3 Number of zeros in row number two is one. Number of zeros in row number three is again one. Number of zeros in row number four is two. And number of zeros in row number five is again two. So the next step is to make assignments. So there are. There is one zero in row number two, and there is one zero in row number three. So this is our first assignment. There will be no assignment in this column, so this, we will cancel this term. Now we are having no zeros in third row. Then there we are having two zeros. In, uh, we are having two zeros in row number five. And two zeros in row number. We are having two zeros in row number four and two zeros in row number five. So let's make this as assignment, and this is our next assignment. Similarly, there is an assignment in this column, so there will be no assignment in this column. Okay. Now we are having two assign. Uh, now we are having two zeros in row number one. We are having two zeros in row number one. That this is our assignment. So the total number of assignments are one, two, three, and four. And the total number of jobs are five. Total number of machines are five, and the number of assignments are four. So we have to make one more assignment. So this is our table number four. Next one will be table number five. so the first step is we have to draw minimum number of lines so that all assignments will be covered we have to draw minimum number of lines so that all assignments must be covered 8 0 0 7 8 0 0 0 19 11 14 12 15 12 8 0 0 14 6 0 0 
फोर फोर फाइव एंड वन so in this step we have to draw minimum number of lines table number 5 in this step we have to draw minimum number of lines so that all assignments must be covered so first of all this is our assignment again this is our assignment this is our assignment and this one is our assignment okay so we will draw three vertical three horizontal lines and we will draw one vertical line okay so minimum number of lines required to assign all the values are four so we have drawn three horizontal lines and one vertical line okay we can draw a vertical line on row number 2 and we can draw a uh, sorry we can draw a horizontal line on row number 2 and we can draw a vertical line on another column from column number 1 it is not necessary that we have to draw three horizontal lines and one vertical line we may draw two horizontal lines and two vertical lines also the main thing is we have to draw minimum number of lines so that all assignments must be covered okay the next step is we have to find the minimum value from the uncovered elements so these elements are connected with the help of lines okay these elements are connected with the help of vertical lines or horizontal lines and these elements are unconnected elements okay these elements are unconnected elements so we have to find the minimum value from the unconnected elements the minimum value from unconnected element is 4 okay now the next step is we have to subtract this minimum value from the unconnected elements since these are our, uh, these are our unconnected elements so we have to subtract 4 from all these elements so 14 minus 4 the value will be 10 12 minus 4 the value will be 8 14 minus 4 10 4 minus 4 0 12 minus 4 8 8 4 is 4 6 minus 4 is 2 and 4 minus 4 is 0 okay then we have junction so a junction is a point a junction is a point where horizontal lines and vertical line will meet a junction is a point where horizontal line and vertical line will meet so the horizontal line and vertical line these are meeting at this point they are meeting at this point and they are meeting at this point so we are having three junctions okay so we have to add the smallest value to these junctions okay first of all we have find the smallest value from unconnected elements that smallest value will be added to all three elements present at the junction so here the value is 8 8 plus 4 will be 12 okay 19 19 plus 4 the value will be 23 11 plus 4 the value will be 15 okay the remaining elements will remain unchanged the remaining elements of connected lines the remaining elements which are by, uh, which are connected with the help of vertical and horizontal lines they will remain unchanged so this value will be 0 this value will be 0 0 0 7 1 0 0 5 5 0 0 and 1 so the remaining elements will remain unchanged so it will be 0 0 7 and 0 this value will be 0 this value will be 0 1005 one, 1005 5001 okay so this is our table number 6 now we have to make assignments again there are three zeros in row number 1 two zeros in row number 
two zeros in row number three, two zeros in row number four, and two zeros in row number five. So we may start with row number two, three, four, and five, as they are having equal number of zeros. So let's start with row number four, uh, row number two. So this is our assignment. There will be no assignment in this column. Okay. Now we are having one zero in the row number three. We are having one zero in row number three. So this is our assignment. Okay. The remaining two, uh, the remaining zeros will be cancelled because machine A is already occupied. Now we are having two zeros in row one. Two zeros in the row number four and two zeros in the row number five. So this is our assignment in row number one. Okay. Then we have two zeros in row number four and two zeros in row number five. We can take any value. So these are our assignments. So job number one, we have job, then we have machine. Job number one is assigned to machine B. Job number two, three, four, and five. So job number one is assigned to machine B. Job number two is assigned to machine A. Job number three is assigned to machine E. Job number four is assigned to machine C. And job number five is assigned to machine D. Okay. So the values are one, one to B. One to B, the value is 38. Two to A, the value is 40. Three to E, the value is 37. Four to C, the value is 41. And 5 to D, the value is 35. So we can add all these values and this is our required answer. So the total value is 191. So our profit will be rupees 191. So in this way, we can maximize our profit. 